From your official UK station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight, presented by Donato's Pizza. Welcome in to BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Maggie Davis. Glad to be back with you all after an incredible weekend covering the Cats in Atlanta. We have some more basketball to talk with you tonight, but it is going to be a football-heavy yeah. show with signing day coming up tomorrow in a new wide receiver coach in town. Yeah, the ink is dry. Dekel Shorts has signed on as the newest member of the UK football coaching staff. That's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. Shorts comes to the Bluegrass after five seasons at Houston. He spent the last three years as the Cougars wide receivers coach and the two years before that as their director of player development. Now that's certainly going to be a big part of his job in Lexington, developing a fairly young wide receiver room, of course. The room will see a couple of additions tomorrow once incoming <laughs> freshmen and transfers sign their national letters of intent as well. Yeah, Shorts has the experience to relate to these guys. He played the position himself at West Virginia from 2013 to 16. He closed his collegiate career ranked fifth in the Mountaineers record book with 177 receptions for more than 2,200 yards plus 14 scores. After graduation, he had an opportunity on the Bills practice squad and ultimately earned a spot on Houston staff. Yes, he's young at just 29 years old, but Schwartz has already impressed his new offensive coordinator. A total stud comes from Houston, um, is really uh, very young in the profession, but um, very wise beyond his years. Um, has had the opportunity, he played the position at a high level, had an opportunity to play in the National Football League and then got right into coaching and um, started from the bottom and really has worked his way up. Uh, so many good people that we have connections with and relationships with have said so many good things about him as a, as a coach, as a person, as a developer. He was able to work with Tank Dell at Houston, who's one of the better route runners uh, in college football and now with the Houston Texans, uh, and, and has recruited at a very high level in an area that he has no relationships. That's something that you look at uh, when you're looking at a recruiter as a coach. Well, he has no relationships or connections to Texas and has done a phenomenal job with the recruitment and development of those players at that position. So uh, really excited about getting Dekeel in here and getting him in the mix and those guys being able to learn from him, build connections, build relationships uh, to hopefully continue to improve that room. Well, the coaching carousel moves quickly, so Coach Shorts has certainly already hit the ground running. He's moved to Lexington, met with the staff and with his new players, and he sat down with Keith. Here's their conversation. First off, welcome to Lexington, and uh, tell me about the process of going through this uh, hiring and, and coming in and meeting with Coach Stoops and Liam and all the offensive coaches. So the process has been pretty good. Um, kind of been a whirlwind. It's the first time in Lexington, but uh, you know, once I got here, kind of get a feel for it. You know, I played at West Virginia, so the city's kind of like a mixture of Morgantown and Pittsburgh, so it's, it's got a nice feel to it. But, um, you know, Coach Cohen and Coach Stoops have been unbelievable. Obviously, the main reason why I'm here, um, they just embraced me. It's got a great staff, genuine people, so I'm pretty excited. Coach Stoops, they all talk about what a family atmosphere he brings around here and takes care of the coaches and the players. Do you feel that already? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you kind of feel that off rip. I mean, just the way the staff kind of handles themselves. You know, everybody's welcoming. You know, Coach Stoops, he's very laid back. One, he's a hell of a coach, but he's very, he's very laid back. He's got a good feel for the program, so it's, it's nice to be here. Having been on the outside of the program, had you taken notice of this program before and seen things with the game and obviously SEC everybody talks about? Yeah, yeah obviously <laughs> SEC is, you know, everybody knows Kentucky, SEC, but it's a great program, great university, you know, just all around. I mean, you know, obviously Stoops is a big name. Um, I actually told him, uh, I think this was a couple of days ago, he's, I know his family's from Youngstown. I played a few games up there when I was in high school, so we talked about that a little bit. Did you beat his team? I did not. Oh. I did not. So I lost his team, Cardinal Mooney. They beat us. So it was a very, it was a great game, but yeah. they got the last one. And Vince Merrill's, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so absolutely. How, how much uh, are you gonna have to fight with him over getting your receivers the ball and him wanting the tight ends to get the ball? Uh, he, <laughs> you learning that I, yeah, already? Yeah, absolutely. I, I know he's the OG, so I'm gonna just you know let him have it and just stay in my lane and kind of do my job. And you know when we get the opportunity, hopefully we, hopefully we can capitalize on it. You're a young guy. Yeah. A real close in age to some of these guys yeah. playing. What's that has to help out there on the field when you're having conversations with players? Yeah, I mean, it definitely helps, you know, being younger in age. Um, you know, Coach Verboyes has done a great job. You know, he's been helping me out a lot. He's younger too, so 
You know, just being active with those guys, you know, I'm the coach, but, sure. you know, a lot of guys want to be the mentor and all that. I'm just like a big brother figure. So, you know, love them hard, you know, have fun with them, but also be that, you know, older guy to tighten them up when needed. So you've had a chance to kind of see some of the guys in practice and everything. What have you what have you seen from the returning uh, returning wide receivers and what you think they can do next year? Well, I've just seen um, obviously I think they're a pretty good group. Um, they got some, got some characters in that room for sure. Uh, you know, yes. I'd rather have it that way. You know, I'd rather have some characters in there. But um, just the biggest thing is, you know, they, they mesh well, they gel well. So you can tell that um, the team's got a close team, close locker room. So I am just want to help those guys take the next step. I think the last coach did a pretty good job. Um, you know, grateful for the room that, that we have. I think there's some talented players in there. Just kind of guide them and, you know, show them what it's supposed to look like as they take that next step. What do you feel like you bring that's more than just, I mean, people on the outside just think probably going out and throwing balls to them. What, how do you develop a receiver? Because you've obviously done that at Houston. I mean, you know, with, you can look at the national numbers and where you all ranked. So, so how do you develop a player to be that next step receiver? I think the biggest thing that, um, you know, that goes unnoticed kind of is, you know, all, all these guys are talented. You know, they wouldn't be here if they weren't talented. And, um, you know, just kind of change the mindset, you know, they work pretty hard just to, you know, take the next step and work even harder. And uh, me being in their shoes before, and, you know, playing at the level that they're trying to get to, just the biggest thing is just getting them right mentally and just having a worker's mindset day in and day out. For you, not helping out as much during the bowl game, but what do you start doing towards leading towards next season, the 2024 season? As of right now, in these next steps, just, you know, getting to know the players, getting to know the staff, you know. It's not going to be easy. Just try to gain the players' trust, you know, just be somebody that they can count on and lean on. And then uh, when we get back here, just, you know, as I gain their trust, you know, coaching them pretty hard and just we're all on this, got the same goal. So just lead into that goal. Have these guys uh, Googled you much? Have they have they tried to see how, how good you were in the day? Uh, a few of them came up to me, said they did some research. Okay. So, you know, I was a decent player. I told those guys, they're come on now. <laughs> They were all a lot more talented than I was. I just worked hard, so I had a shot. So that's my biggest thing is hard work can take you a lot a long way. So if they if they realize that, you know, the sooner they realize that, the better off they'll be. Congrats and uh, welcome into Lexington again. Appreciate that. Absolutely. Decent. I mean, come on. He ranked fifth and sixth. Yeah. In, Look in, at his numbers. Exactly. Exactly. But all it was big twelve second team his senior year. Yes. Yes. He, now he will not coach in the bowl game, but he is out there right now in practice, just kind of learning the terminology watching the players, seeing what he can help them work on mm -hmm. as they go forward next year. One of my favorite parts of that whole interview was talking about building relationships yeah. within that room because that is such a huge Big. part of any sport. Mm -hmm. But this wide receiver room specifically is so talented. Right. You want those guys <laughs> to have full and complete yes. trust in their new coach. Let's take a look at what that wide receiver room looks like right now. Again, it will look different as soon as tomorrow. But as of today, six scholarship receivers in this room. Brown and Key both expected to return for their junior seasons. Shamar Porter has withdrawn his name from the transfer portal after initially exploring his options. That's a great keep mm, for the Kentucky big. staff to be able to hold on to him. We saw flashes from Anthony Brown, Steven this season as a true freshman while Ardell Banks will be looking for his first significant time at receiver next year as an incoming sophomore. A lot of pieces that Coach Shorts mm -hmm. will be able to work with there. You alluded to this, but the football fun is just getting started yes. around here as we're gearing up for a huge day in the sport as a whole. Yes, early signing period begins tomorrow, which means we have a very special edition of our show, BBN Game Day, with our favorite annual co-host, <laughs> Vince Mero. Don't big tell dog. Keith. Come on. So excited to have the big dog join us, so make sure you're <laughs> with us tomorrow night at our normal time for an episode that is sure to be anything but normal, because you never know what's going to happen uh, when true. big dog's in the studio live with you, right? And you just hope all the names are signed, and we're ready to talk about all of them, right? Yes, because that's the plan. Because we can't until they're signed. But still ahead for us tonight. We're also still relishing Kentucky basketball's recent win over North Carolina. Hear from John Calipari 